Okay, we have an agenda started, today. Oh, I sorry. started the recording. Go ahead. Uh, do we have an agenda today? I don't think so, or at least I didn't see it in the mailing list. Um, I think that we have one topic that is important to discuss, but I don't know if we can do it today with so few people, which is how to work. Because as, as, I, as I commented in the mailing list, I don't know if that was decided in a meeting or I could not join. If that's the case, that's fine with me. I don't want to reopen the discussion. Mm -hmm. And that's it. But I just wanted to know because we were uh, I were starting to review the pull request, and I I really didn't know if I should do that on, on the metrics or what. Yeah, so I, what I agree. Uh, I've been I've been wanting to do work, and I uh, I don't know where to send it. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so well, I'm, what at a, I'm at a standstill until I figure out uh, what <laughs> our work processes are. Okay, so what I saw is that right now there is a new branch in the metrics repository, which seems to be the same information, I mean, the same data as the main branch, as the master branch, with very minor modifications. So it's like coming back again to the beginning, because if you remember, when we moved to the repository, we removed everything which was not directly related to GMD. Uh, so I'm a bit upset. I don't know what to do, honestly. Uh, so, I, think, I think there's definitely... I think there's opposing views on this, so I think there's definitely disagreement. So, but but uh, uh, some of you were in the meeting that I wasn't because I couldn't see the recordings. I saw the, the, the summary. And it seems from the summary that it was decided to move to the branch. I thought, you were in, I thought you were in that meeting. I was in that meeting. I thought you were. I. Uh, if I was, I don't remember being in a meeting where we decided to move to the grants. I don't remember. I actually don't remember that decision being formalized either. I remember it being uh, discussed. Uh, in my notes, I had it being discussed. I did not have it being formalized. Uh, however, I was when I when I went to do the meetings, I was told that the decision had been made in that meeting. So uh, perhaps there was just some confusion around that. Could happen, yeah. So um, I don't know if it is better to just consider that as a decision and try to work the, as, like that for some months and see what happens, or uh, wait until the next meeting where maybe uh, sin is. I, I mean, especially since would be important to be to be here. I think. So uh, I don't know if we could maybe talk about other staff and leave this. And maybe discussing the mailing list because on the other hand it's just uh, if somebody says this is a decision that's fine with me so i i don't i don't want to work on this i think there's definitely opposing views i think there are people that would like it to be a branch and i think there are people that would like it to uh remain uh as a separate repo so so i think yeah, there i did i think you're right in that the the decision probably it's probably not a matter of reopening the decision. I think it's probably a matter of that the decision hasn't been made yet. So maybe we just need to talk about mm -hmm. it some more. So okay. the way that I have observed this conversation is that it's about uh, what is the best way to collaborate, especially because the growth major and decline work group is feeding into the metrics work or, uh, committee. And the core issue with the repository is that it is not apparent that it's only a fork of the metrics repository and has to stay in sync. And that um, this getting out of sync has led to problems of merging changes back. That issue will persist in the same way with a branch. So the benefit of the branch is that it's painfully, painfully clear that it belongs to that metrics repository and it's just a different working branch, but it reduces the visibility. And if you don't merge changes regularly, then they will just the same be out of sync again. Um, so yeah, you lose visibility, you lose the ability to 
um, add new maintainers that are unique to the growth metric and decline work group because you can only add maintainers that are then assigned to the entire metrics committee. You don't have a front page readme. People looking for the work group will have to be directed to a repository, to a branch of the repository. The GitHub workflow is towards the master branch by default, which might cause people to accidentally create pull requests in the to the wrong branch. And also you don't have unique issues to the gross mention decline work group, but they interleave with the metrics committee. So I personally think there are more benefits to working in a repository, but that is my personal view. I, I completely share your opinions. I already commented in the mailing list, but still from a procedural point of view, I think it's a bad thing to, to go and go back and again. So uh, right now, I think there are two options. One would be to say a uh, decision was not made, we still need to discuss, and either have a decision in the mailing list or in the next uh, working group meeting. Maybe we can do that in the mailing list. The second option would be to consider the decision as made and then work in the branch for a while, see, what, see how it works, and maybe in a couple of months, reevaluate. But in that case, we should be cleaning the branch because now in the branch we have everything, and we should get some stuff from the repository because not everything that we have in the repository right now. And we should clean up the rest of the staff, which is not directly related to uh, GMD, I think. But uh, again, as you said, that's also my personal view. So um, I think that uh, if Sin is not here, since he was, as far as I remember, supporter of, uh, or maybe the main supporter of in, in, in branch. So maybe we can discuss this in the mailing list and consider that until we have a firm decision on the mailing list, there is no decision on that. So what do you think? I just want to add one thing. If uh, Did I understand you correctly that if you were to stay with the branch as it is right now, that you wanted to clean up the branch by removing files that are not related to growth maturity decline? That's what we did in the repository, if you remember. Yep, I remember. And, uh, and uh, I mean, assuming we don't revert that, that decision too, the decision was to have a working space for GMD. And that was uh, one of the reasons for cleaning up that. If we prefer to stay in sync with everything, that's fine. But in that case, it's going to be more difficult to explain people what is the working group about. Yeah. Because in the branch is everything. Yeah. yeah, and if we were to clean up the branch, just like we did with the repository, then we will be back to the same situation that merging changes back to the metrics master branch will be causing conflicts again. And so the whole if we idea- do it, Sorry, we would have to, We'd have to change the file structure. Sorry, we'd have to change the file structure for the entire metrics repo rather than uh, like diversity inclusion would have to have a folder and they would work out of that folder. Right? GMD would have a folder and they would work out of that folder. That's probably what we would have to do uh, if we're working out of the branch. Yeah, that, that, that could be an option too. So, but uh, uh, the, the original idea was to have a working space for the working groups and from time to time synchronize with the other. My impression is that if we synchronize files, not the whole repository, but files, the things that we are touching should not be touched in general by other working groups, which means that synchronizing is basically taking our changes back to the main repository. Or if we are working in the branch, taking our changes back to the main branch. And there should be no conflict, except for maybe if we decide to touch the, the general readme, for instance. But if we stick to uh, staff specifically related to GMD, uh, I think we should not be touching files from uh, diversity and inclusion, and other people should not be touching our, our files in general, except for maybe some exceptions. So, but, but still, the only thing that they want is to define one way, try it, and, and, and then we can revert if needed. Okay. I actually, I, I would rather work from the, uh, the separate repository, just for the record. So I'm, I'm not in favor of moving to the branch. Uh, but I agree. I think maybe we should we should take the conversation to the email list and maybe kind of 
create a uh, chain that we can kind of plus one and maybe get consensus that way. If, if Georg could make his arguments in favor of the, the repository, uh, that would be helpful. Because I, th I think Sean uh, made arguments in favor of the uh, master branch today in an email. So maybe we just reply to that. And I think all the arguments have been posted to the mailing list. So it's just a matter of copy pasting them into one email to vote on them. Yep. But I think so it's an important part also in this conversation, how the repository or the branch will look like. Because if we are cleaning it up, removing things that are part of other work groups, then we will have the same issue that we have right now, regardless of whether it's a branch or a repository. So that is something that needs to be addressed. Do we want an easy way to just get merge back and create a pull request? Or is it the more involved process of choosing the files that we manually copy back and forth? So one thing that we have is that diversity and inclusion uh, group is already doing this kind of stuff since there, there is a new structure as far as I saw at the repository. So I think that at least for that working group, the decision is taken. So merging back to the metrics is going to be possibly going five by five. And I find that reasonable because every working group should decide, in my opinion. And uh, the problem of merging, in fact, is only merging up to a point because from my point of view, what we really, really need is to, um, let's say, release a version of the GMD metrics and basically copy that into the repository. Not necessarily getting the history or whatever, because the history is, can, can stay in the working group repository. If we do it with a branch, it could be for me the same. So that's why everything which is not related to GMD in the GMD branch or in the GMD repository could be confusing for people just landing there and saying, I want to change something because it's difficult for them to know you shouldn't be changing it here. You should go to the metrics repository to change it. And uh, there is no specific reason step for let's say this decision. So. But, but again, uh, maybe we can stop here, try to have the decision made by consensus in the mailing list. And if there is no possibility, we can decide in the mailing list either just have a voting or have a specific meeting where we discuss this because it's important for the, for the working group. Do you agree? The, the others yeah. can see? Okay. Okay. Any other comment on or opinion on this before we close this issue for now? Okay, thank you very much. So uh, I, I would say that there are two other things, at least in my mind, that I would like to briefly talk about. One is the uh, use cases that Georg is uh, willing to merge. So my impression is we should. There is now a, a stopped pull request with them. So my decision is once we are my, my sorry my 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 opinion is that once we are done with the way we work with the repository, we should be merging them. And this is an important part of the repository. So I very much like those use cases and having more uh, when we can have them. And uh, the second one is more related to the uh, renaming that was commented some weeks ago on the metrics and everything. I think we should also go on with that. So I would consider these two decisions as taken, if you all agree with independence of what happens with the repository. Do you all agree on this? Okay. Yep, I agree. Okay, great. So from my point of view, the things that, uh, that needs to be decided are basically this. So I don't have more urgent items to, to talk about. Do you think there is something else that you want to to decide right now, or for the rest, we can just talk on any random issue that you may have. Nothing? I don't have any other things that I want to talk about today. Yeah, I don't. I don't have anything. Okay. I have something. Please. Okay. So, um, 
So I think this is this is followed this is around the use cases actually. So following from last week, last month, two weeks ago. Um, so I went to the the Kibble uh, list because we were talking about getting some um, examples. We talked about looking at the examples folder, and we we were talking about these uh, having the Jupyter notebook uh, as the format. So I raised that on the on the Kibble list, and the feedback I got was. Um, that because Kibble already has the visualization and the aggregation, it, it doesn't didn't make sense to try and pull the data out of Kibble to try and use Jupyter to, to make it do what Kibble already does. So um, so my question was, you know, with the examples that we can get out of Kibble, how how can we integrate them if we're not using Jupyter? So I, I didn't fully understand you. Could you uh, um, summarize what the, the last two sentences? I think. So um, okay. So we want. I want to find out how I can in, include examples from Kibble without using Jupyter Notebook. So which which kind of input do you want to use them? I mean, I don't know. I'm, this is the question. I don't. What what, okay. what options are there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I don't think you're obligated to use uh, the Jupyter notebooks. I think in the uh, the use case uh, templates we're wanting to create, uh, there there was a section I think where we were wanting to have like example implementations. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we could just just point it towards Kibble. Uh, is there a public instance that you can show? Yeah, yeah, there is. So in any uh, case, the, the, the Jupyter notebooks are, are only uh, designed as a kind of a reference. It's not important that the code is the same, but if we agree on the definition of the metrics, the result for a given repository should be the same. So for instance, when the accounting commits, uh, as we are trying to show in the, in the notebook right now, which is the only one written, uh, you need to decide which commits you are counting inside. And you can't count merge commits, empty commits, and all of that. But the, the thing is, whichever you are counting, the, the numbers should be the same. In the case of commits, it's obvious because there is very little room for, for difference. But in other, in other cases, depending on how you exactly count, could be a bit different. So the idea is just to to have a reference to now that we are counting the same. So okay. if you want, I can also work with you in trying to find out if there are differences or not, because for some of the things, I'm pretty much sure that there's not going to be any difference. But I don't know, for instance, maybe at some point you decided to only count commits in master instead of in all the repository, for instance. Uh, mm -hmm. That would make a difference. So that's the kind of things that we need to be a bit careful with. And for, for, for sure, Kibble doesn't need to run to, to, to get exactly the same metrics. The only thing is, if we are if we are saying these are, the, let's say, the chaos metrics should be the same. But since we are still defining also the, 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 the chaos metrics, we can work together to ensure they are the same. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I mean? So that there is no specific preference right now for let's compute the metrics this way or this other, except that we are computing it in some way, but very, very, very much you may have some other reasons for calculating in a different way, and we can agree, and that's it. So, okay. So we, effectively, we need some sort of common reference where we, can, you know, we have maybe multiple um, things running, the, like the, running it on the uh, uh, here uh, and and running running the same data and making sure that we have the same result, really, for the same okay. calculation. So uh, uh, with with the notebooks, we try to start from scratch because we are not necessarily using the same uh, way of computing the metrics that the Grimoire Lab or Petergia is using. So we only use Grimoire Lab just for getting the data from the API, nothing else. Okay. And from that point on, from that point on, the idea is to start from scratch because uh, I don't know in your case, but in our case, many of the metrics are computed in some way for historical reasons, because maybe at that point we were working with a specific group or a specific project and they wanted the metrics to be counted in some way, but maybe that's not the best one for, you know, for the community as a whole. So I'm more than ready to discuss any of those from scratch. And that, that's the reason why we started the notebooks, because it's a, it's a way of trying to do something, let's say, neutral. It's not tied to how the Marlab does the staff or Kibble or anything else. And mm -hmm. 
but, but we could use it to define precisely how the metric is computed, let's say, at Scouse says. And then you may have good reasons for computing it in some other way, or Gemara or whatever, but they cannot claim this is the way Cal does it. That's it. Okay. All right. Because one, because one of the things I, 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 was, I was starting to do as well was to start the discussion to just uh, analyze or review Kibble against all the GMD metrics so to make sure to look at the calculation that we're using as part of the as part of the, um, the application and to see whether or not it is in line with, with with what's been already defined. So this is also a discussion that I started to look at as well. So um, so I, I, I think um, let so let, what I'll do is I'll, I was going to take them one at a time. So I'm going to take what well, I'm open issues or something like this and have a go at doing one of them and then following that through and then maybe we can link up the cases and just to make sure that we're aligned with that and then and if that one's okay then maybe move on to the rest something like that do, do you have a precise definitions of the metrics in kibble right now sorry what was that if, if you have a precise definitions of uh, the metrics in kibble right now i mean in english or yeah, say and uh, we can do this metric this in this way uh, I don't think so. I have to have a look. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because because something that we could something that we could do together, if you want, is uh, for the metrics in GMD, just uh, start an open discussion on each of them, how to compute them in English, and then write the notebooks based on that discussion, if you want, or at least for those where we could have differences. Maybe counting commits is not one of those, but for some others. And uh, and that way we can come to a conclusion, which is let's say neutral from the point of view. This is how you and us and any other willing to contribute can do that. And from that we can then map to the use cases that your is uh, is collecting. Okay. Right then, that sounds like that sounds like a logical flower. All right then. So let me. So let one of one of the things that I will take away then is I'll go I'll go away and find out about um, mm -hmm. how we're doing all how what's been implemented for the various metrics as they are as they are now to see whether or not they're in alignment, and then we can actually work, like you say work through and um, see how it is in specify it in a sort of like a logical English sort of. Why and um, okay. Yeah. If you look at if you look at the commits metrics, which is the only one where we are a complete a, a complete notebook, the idea is to first define the data source, then try to say in English this is what we do in, in the first case count commits, and then look at the different ways that could be considered reasonable for counting the commits. In the case of uh, commits, uh, we only came up to there. Uh, at, the, at this point, we should be deciding, okay, now we say that the, the right way is this one, at least for the, let's say the basic commits, and it's found in all commits, or commits in master, or commits in master which are not merged, whatever. And, and, and that's, I say, the definition for commits from now on for cows, at least until we decide otherwise. And we can try to make that in sync, in sync with what uh, Kibble is doing too. Okay. And, and if you want, we can also discuss by, by email with other Kibble developers, if you want. Okay, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got enough to keep, I've got enough to, to um, start some actions anyway, and get things moving along that line. So, okay. uh, yeah. And if I, need, if, and if I need any, what I can do is actually uh, I can post back to the chaos um, mailing list if I if I need any any other uh, sort of advice, help, whatever. <laughs> and we can okay. see how we can move, move forward with that. All right. Okay. And of course, feel free to um, comment on the kind of definitions that we are starting to produce right now. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Anything else? I just wanted to say I'm super excited about this idea of seeing how Kibble 
implements the metric, and then comparing that to how Grimoire Lab and Augur are doing it, and then defining one way that becomes then the um, the way that uh, chaos says is not necessarily the right way, but the way that we want to standardize on. The chaos way. The chaos way. So I really like the that approach. Part, yeah. And I, I mm -hmm. look forward to this comparison and what comes out of it. So yeah, so super cool stuff. Thank you, Sharon, for doing the legwork of figuring out what Kibble is currently <laughs> doing. <laughs> yeah. And bringing that. Yeah, thank yeah. And then also, yeah, mm -hmm. also I, I like the survey that you ran with uh, how is everyone using right now the um, demo or the prototype. Mm -hmm. So do you think, so one of the things, I don't know if you heard this, um, one of the things we talked about um, during the open source summit and afterwards is to share user use cases or user stories of using metrics. So tiny case studies, basically, where uh, we want to hear from users of metrics, what metrics they're using, um, what visualizations they look at, what tools they employ, and then also what decisions they make. And it's a really short blog post, like three paragraphs, 500 words max kind of thing. Um, I don't know if you if you had heard about this, but maybe it would be interesting to hear from the Kibble users as well. Okay. So that, well, I need to consolidate the feedback that's coming in. I might send out a reminder because we've got some uh, feedback from some of the projects, but not all of them. So I might, it's always good to maybe kick them a little. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so yeah, uh, and some of them, I think, I think there was one of them that was explained, uh, was, was, was using it quite, uh, said that they were using it quite effectively. So, um, yeah, okay, I'll, get, I'll, I'll look at that. So the way that I think we could do this is I have uh, three questions, I think, prepared. There's a document on this idea for the blog post and to ask this whoever responded, if they could uh, elaborate a little bit more and write this blog post, include a few screenshots, and then we would include this in our blog post series on how are metrics currently being used so that we build up a database of uh, a knowledge database on how our mm -hmm. metrics used, what tools are used, what decisions are being made. Mm -hmm. Okay, Good. all right then. Well, uh, there's some of the metrics that I'm actually using for one of the other projects that I'm in, involved in as well. So we're, we're using that maybe sort of every couple of months or so, and we publish it as part of our blog. And, oh, okay, yeah, so I, I, maybe I could actually um, contribute to that from, a, from another project perspective as well. Okay. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, and I'll communicate this as well, actually. Yeah. Here, let me find okay. this link real quick, then I can share that in the chat. Yeah. And one of the things that I'm trying to do as well is try and um, get a bit, of, a bit more of a, a visibility on the metrics and chaos and diversity and inclusion and stuff like this into not only the Kibble um, project, but also into the community development project, because um, we, as part of ComDev, we, it's the sort of uh, subjects that we're looking at, and we would be wanting to um, use that information to be able to uh, better inform, better report, better help the projects with their sort of development activities. Uh, I'm just trying to get at it from two, two, two areas. Okay, cool. So I cannot get to the URL right now because while I'm in the Zoom meeting, everything else on my computer just freezes. <laughs> I'll have to send it to you afterwards. You can send it to the mailing list if you want, so that anyone can see it, uh, George, if you want. Yes, I can send a 
general note again asking for people to write blog posts that's a good idea yeah. okay thank you anything else okay then i think we're done so thank you very much and uh, um uh, is somebody going to post the notes about the three things that we commented at the beginning, or, or should I do that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I've, got I've got some general notes. If you, uh, uh, if you would like to send me yours, I can combine them and post. I think that the notes, uh, that the, the comments that Georg and me did about the repository were already already sent to the mailing list. So it could be mainly about uh, let's decide on this. If there is an opportunity for consensus, I, I can I can chime on your on your message if you want. It, if you just summarize what we talked today, right? Yeah, what I have what I have for uh, the GMD work processes uh, is just kind of their their general pros and cons for working in a branch versus a separate repository. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have decided that the arguments can be made on the mailing list and we can vote or reply to those uh, arguments to reach consensus. Exactly, yeah, thank you. So, uh, so I can just, I can send out the notes. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Well, then I think we are completely done now. So thank you very much. Thank you everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.